The views expressed in the following program do not necessarily represent the views of this station or its management. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Real People, Real Life, once again, Wichita, Kansas. America. America. Woohoo. Wait, America? Hey, we're still here, yeah. Okay, okay. Well, so I'm far. excited. I'm excited. Yay. Um, it's the fourth annual Who's Got the Biggest Hemp what? Root. Well, wow. <laughs> I know. Wow. Who's Got the Biggest Hemp Root? Thought you were going go. somewhere else. I know, but... right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so my friends in California that own Hemp Ease. <clears throat> Um, which, by the way, is 100% organic. And these are just some of the items that I use all the time. This is what we use on Tinkerbell, my Great Dane, when, when her back hurts and her hips and all that. Oh, this so is pain. Oh, yeah, that too. And then this is my face moisturizer. Um, this is a Baby and Me product. And, again, it's just for... Um, you know, softening. Is this for like sore muscles or something? Yes, and uh, sore muscles, eczema, um, psoriasis. Huh. You can go to the website, um, hempease.com, and all the uh, information and, and all these different things are there. Go ahead. I put Wicked. it on. Go ahead. It's 100% organic. I mean, there's nothing in that's going to hurt you. Um, and I did finally, yay, I got my Ooh. official oh, wow. shirt. Love yes, yeah. I got my business cards, Robin oh. R. Lace. Sales representative, Hemp Ease products. Oh, God. Um, it's just so like if you need any Hemp Ease in <laughs> Colorado, <laughs> Kansas, or Oklahoma, let me know. I can pick you up. Um, I do think that um, this was rather hilarious. And now I don't know if you can see this very well, but um, this is. That's a root? This is a, a root from Russia. Russia. This is looks a, like my hair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> yeah. But I did. Uh, I do have some pictures of the. Uh, look at that one. Holy cow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, we got a, We got the visual. Anyway, so the, those are some hemp root. Wow, it looks balls. like hay. Um, now of. these were both out of Russia, but we're gonna have pictures of the last couple of years' winners. Um, on uh, the show, so you'll be able to see those. So what do they, they extract, like, what, CBD oil yeah. from that? Is that what yeah. you're saying? Out of the root, huh? Yeah. They use Does anybody know this? Root. Yes, as a matter of fact, they sure do, um, because not too long ago, um, multiple hemp huh. industries throughout the United States that are in legal states um, were visited by different federal agencies, um, and including uh, my friends in California. Um, they were visited, and of course you have to prove that you have a percentage, uh, right now in Colorado you have to have 0.03% or less of a THC for it to be considered you know, no THC levels in the blood. Okay, so for example, when our son is up from, he's in the Air Force, he could use any of these products right now oh, and still have urine tested and or blood tested, and there, there's not going to be any THC. Because THC well, is no naturally THC in, in the body already anyway. Well, yeah, especially if you're breastfeeding. Did you not know uh, that? I didn't know that. Yes, well, sir. And, but and, can I ask you something? Are these legal here? Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. All of these products are legal in the state of Kansas. The only thing is you can't grow the hemp in Kansas. So, please, I do encourage you to... Uh, to get into the contest, um, all you got to do is visit, visit hempease.com, and all the contest details are there. But if you are putting up pictures of a hemp root and you live in Kansas, don't say you're from Kansas. Okay? I have a question. Yes. Okay, so last year in the federal farm bill, mm -hmm. and this was put in there by Mitch McConnell right. from Kentucky, mm -hmm. isn't it now legal to grow hemp in the United States? Only if, only if your state is only if your state only if your state is power. Once again, we're I, behind the ball I, here in really? Kansas, folks. Yeah. I have a that question. A lot of, that, <laughs> that, that makes me wonder if once they legalize it completely federally, are they going to stop it state wise? I think some people that we have in Topeka probably would in a heartbeat. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, that's when you're going to get into the uh, mm. republic versus the state yeah. versus the federal, yeah. you yeah. know, rules. Right. And, well, isn't that odd? That you know, in Topeka, all the uh, the really strong state rights people, whether it be for uh, abortion or whether it be for gay marriage or any number of things, 
all of a sudden want to go federal when it comes to him. Mm -hmm. I strike at a height of hypocrisy. To me. Well, yeah, thank you. Okay. And hypocrisy? I mean, we in our government? <laughs> what the hell are you say, Don? <laughs> Absolutely. I love it. What the hell? Alrighty then. We really did have a great agricultural <laughs> bill um, that I believe it was Haley um, that put forward uh, in the last session of 2015 that was a hemp agricultural bill and of course it didn't it got pass. booted it yeah got, yeah it got booted along with the medical cannabis bill and anything that's even remotely you know close to any of this so anyway um do submit your photos get the contest for um the uh world's biggest hemp root contest hmm. go to hempease.com hempease.com hello it's right here well okay now the other thing that we were going to talk about uh which i think we've got family in Cushing, Oklahoma, okay, and, I, and we were talking just a little bit ago, who felt the earthquake at 4.20 a.m.? 4.22. I had okay. no idea that it was that, oh, well, Look. I did <laughs> I was like, <laughs> wow. I feel like I'm getting a massage. <laughs> no, I, did you it feel really? like, like, there was people, in the, there you know was people even commenting in cake, at cake.com, yeah. that they felt it in Newton, they felt it, ah. so it was yeah. really, I think it was at four point. Five, four, yeah. four point five. And it kind of, I've not felt one. No, the chief yet. sucked You're so kidding. bad yesterday that no. I tried to bomb myself into the stone age. <laughs> yeah. So I was I'm out, sorry. man. <laughs> four twenty. Yeah, yeah right. right. <laughs> um, well, anyway, so there are a lot of people here in Wichita and the surrounding areas that are feeling the earthquakes, and some people are actually, you know, obtaining earthquake insurance, and you can certainly be helping people with that one. Huh. Um, How uh, much is it? Lots. Is it's it? actually no. It's, no. it's really cheap. Be pretty cheap here. Well, it's like it, free it's, money. It's an endorsement. You're yeah. you're you're paying for an endorsement to have the deductible, five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five percent on a hundred thousand dollar house, five thousand dollar deductible. But that's cheaper than a hundred thousand dollars on a hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To if replace. the whole thing shakes apart. Yeah. Well, right. if it if it crumbles because yeah. it's a, a named exclusion. Huh. Well, we have family. Um, in fact, my husband's um, mom and a couple of the family members that live in Cushing, and that's where the last one uh, was kind of centered. Uh, a home, second second house from hers, has been considered uh, uh, <laughs> demolished. Um, no way. Yeah, because uh, really? the earthquakes, and her house literally is over there just shaking apart. Okay, so whenever this gets reported, you know, on like local news, I always can't wait to go and see what people say on their, you know, like at cake.com or on their Facebook pages because it's absolutely hilarious. Okay, so I was looking at some of the comments and I was like, oh, okay, for people that aren't from Kansas like we are and we kind of know how it rolls around here. Okay, what one word to tell you, tell us about Kansas? Flat. Thank you. <laughs> Flat. Tornado. Yeah, tornadoes. tornadoes. Yeah. Death. <laughs> History <laughs> well, books well, come to mind. Well, that's sort of unfortunate. <laughs> okay, so this is my little friend, okay? So here in Kansas, so it's, uh, it's, it's flat. Okay, so we're usually just do 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 right? Okay, and we have had horrible ice storms. Ice. Ice. Oh, see, we just keep on going, man. We're good. Oh, no, yeah, okay. Yeah, we okay. And then we no, get like tornadoes and wind damage. And we're... where's my wind? Ew! Oh my God, it is! Oh my God, it is! Okay. But then when we have earthquakes, okay, and you go to the Facebooks and the dot com and the TV stations, people are like, earthquake in Kansas! Oh my God! 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 So there you go. Uh -huh. That's oh, her new uh, favorite yeah. toy. You get it? Yeah. Okay. There I you get go. it now. Now I understand. Uh, now you understand. So we're pretty tough here in Kansas. What do you yeah, say? Right. I mean, yeah. our houses blow away. You know, we've oh, had we're ice worried, We're not really worried about earthquakes so much here. You know, I'm not. I mean, you know, I have family now in Oklahoma. Yeah, they need to be worried about it. You know, uh, but I mean, you know, unless your insurance sales and that's what you really want to do is sell... Um, Earthquake insurance um, you know, in Kansas. You don't, you don't in make Kansas. Up a lot of money off of it. Well, see, there you go. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to slide this ice your way. Okay. Okay, you were in charge of the ice. Um, so, those were just a couple little fun but, things. But before uh, Y2K, nobody really bought bottled water. That's true, too. That's true too. And then after, after Y2K, and nothing happened. Right. Everybody buys bottled water. Did you guys notice that? I mean, oh, yeah. stockpiles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. My basement's filled with it. Yeah. I'm just waiting for that. Yeah, but this is like how many <laughs> into the world scenarios have just I already survived? Probably so many. <laughs> I know, I've lost count. Are you sure we're still here? You know, I wonder yeah. about that sometimes. 
Can you prove that we ever were in the first place? No, because if you speed this up right now, we disappear. (laughs) You said last show. Sometimes you think we're just a big dream. We're going to all wake up and, oh. Right? This can't be real. John's been to Colorado. We live in awe. No, I haven't. Those are all Okay, there you go. But but speaking of unreal, okay, um, one of our uh, our topic today has to do with veterans. Mm. And a very dear friend of ours, and he's been on the show before, um, is going to come forward. And this is so unreal. Um, You're only going to see it here right now. And then once we get this um, done, it will be sent off to national uh, press. Okay, so we're going to keep it real right here. Real people, real life. Be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you, Bill, that we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your home's in your head. We love you. You build it. You build it. There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit, no credit, no problem, and only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway. Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please, don't hurry, because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Two plus two equals zero. Two years job time and two years residence equals zip, zero, not a nothing down. At credit, no credit, no problem at Credit King. Two plus two equals zero. Credit King, 31st Street South and Broadway. Habla Espanol. Does not include sales tax. See us for more details with approved application. goodness welcome back we survived another earthquake i do believe but we're here perhaps okay. yes all right and i'm very very honored to have a good friend of ours back nathan mcclure now you, you served uh in afghanistan correct served in iraq oh iraq that's right uh, was actually hurt on my first tour over got hit with a bunch of anti-tank rounds and then um most recently i've been working at the va here in town in wichita yeah. serving as an analyst okay an analyst Hmm. That sounds What type depth. of data were you analyzing? Well, this one actually that we're, we're talking about, we came across when we were doing a surgical uh, improvement collaborative with 32 other hospitals throughout the VA. And what we were looking at was how could we improve specialty and surgical care. Okay. With this, though, we, I started diving into not just the clinic aspect, but how do we improve flow into the clinic and improve flow out of the clinic? Because yes. you the whole project the, management. Absolutely. You get mm-hmm. to see the whole holistic picture. And during it, we saw a lot of issues. And during these issues, I was warned constantly by middle management, the union, that if I ever came out with this, I would be terminated. Wow. And I was. Um, wow. So, what? yes. And so, what we have here is about six inches of documents that go through everything that is happening and that we came across. And one of the biggest ones we had was intentional frauding and a secret wait list in which we are intentionally hiding months worth of wait time for veterans. Well, Bob Dole told me that wasn't going on in Wichita. Well, um, Was he misinformed? I believe a lot of people were misinformed. Wow. Because when I brought this up to the chief of surgery and I brought this up to the chief of staff office, I was told 
Don't look into it. It's being taken care of. The numbers are where we want them to be. User chain of command. Don't report this outside of this office. And when I did, mm -hmm. I found myself out of a job. Wow. Hmm. And so... What's uh, that called? Them doing that to you. What's that called? Because that's, that's a thing too. That is whistleblower. But the sad what problem is, is it takes years to prove whistleblower in federal court. And so for years, the VA could continue to fix it on their own time, hire, move, transfer people, because it's going to take years to prove this. But you are at the federal level. We are. We have actually filed in multiple departments mm -hmm. within the government for whistleblower, mm -hmm. uh, fraud, waste and abuse, as well as the legal team is pursuing multiple civil charges against individuals and not just the VA. So you have proof about right here. That's about half of it. Mm -hmm. That right there is the actual secret wait list, oh not God. paying debts. And so if I know you're a veteran, mm -hmm. if you went and we sent you outside for treatment, mm -hmm. that there are, there are multiple vendors mm -hmm. that have not been paid in excess of one year for the services that they have provided. Wow. That must impact the service they then provide to other veterans. Wouldn't that be some of those people? Wouldn't that be, um, I don't know, let me guess, possibly some local hospitals? Some local hospitals. We've, each, we've even had a regional um, clinic that no longer accepts what consults at all, will not treat veterans from the VA yeah. on a consult because they have not been paid in excess of a year. That's what I was asking. That's what Absolutely. I thought. And, and this is just for our location? Just for Wichita. This does not go into wow. the other hospitals in yeah. But the there's region. funding well, for I, that, right? There was $16 billion set aside in VACA funding. Where's that? Well, Congress has asked for $1 billion to go for the hospital in Denver that's $1 billion over budget. Hmm. A new building. A new building in, in Denver that's a billion dollars over budget. That's wow. Billion dollars over budget. Why would you say With Denver? I thought Denver had all this excess change laying around to do all these wonderful things for its state. Well, well it's a separate issue. This well, is this is not a state hospital. This is a federal. federal gotcha. Hospital. So there's a federal facility that's in debt. It's one billion over. Well, that's doesn't well, sound that's, anything like the national government, does it? Well, or the post well, office. That's money, Nathan. You're telling this me that's a billion news. dollars going to contractors <laughs> right. who, for whatever reason that does not go to veterans like myself or our health care. Well, and that's yeah. what the VA has asked Congress to be able to do. Now, Is hire veterans to do the work? No. No. Was no. to take one billion out of this pool of money to pay off a hospital that they're over on. That $16 billion was supposed to be that if you have to wait more than 30 days for an appointment, go to the private sector. And then you get it covered. And then it, the VA will cover it. Well, I you, guess this, I'm sorry. No, no. no go ahead. I guess the story, you've got a lot of our congressional district backing you. Well, I, uh, Hughes Camp is very proactive. Okay. Pompeo has been, his office has been notified. Okay. But a lot of it is we are waiting to see what the courts say. We're waiting to see. Even though we've offered to scan and email that <laughs> stack and another stack okay. to their offices. I mean, just What about that Marine that we all, the one that lives in Washington? I'm not familiar with that one. I'm not up on that one. Oh, that's Senator Pat Roberts, for those of you who didn't catch the reference. He's right. a veteran, but sure. you never know it, but sometimes the way he treats our veterans now. Well, we, uh, I was trying to focus on ones that were directly in the Veteran Affairs Committee. Of course. To that makes sense. Okay. Well, um, you know, I, I've had uh, uh, access to not all, mm -hmm. but some of this paperwork. and uh, For months now. For months, yeah. yeah. This, this, is, this is, I mean, I went to local media wow. and took documents and they buried it and waited almost two or three months and then did some little fluffy little snippet story about it and really i mean didn't didn't report it like like i would have why not so, you know because they're scared i don't know um so and it just kept getting worse sure. quite frankly um so now it's at, at the point that it's at now I think it, um, I think it, I'm sorry, but I think it gets to be like how you ended up losing your job. These people are scared to lose their job because they've been also told like similar scenarios, like you cover it, you're out. And so I feel like there's a whole bunch of you that made a different choice than you did out there. There is a documented train of 
multiple administrators on this that would be directly tied to it. Is this all public record? Yes, I can actually share Freedom of Information Act's FOIAs that will okay. guide everyone to the exact same knowledge and it's very easy to track. You only have to ask for three things. This has to be looked. Okay, so clearly this, this is done. the problem. What solutions are we looking at? The solution is really transparency. Um, one of the biggest issues we have, and I want to draw it up later because it's legal what they're doing, it's illegal how they are imply or how they are actually executing applying, it, yeah. applying it. And so what they are doing is they are finding a gap to hide data in instead of tell national. Tell national that if you're a cataract patient in November of 2014, you were waiting 300 days to have a cataract surgery. Oh my God. Really? However, National was reporting that the wait time was less than 30 days. Mm. If you were... It's a little bit different. A little different. Pain, Shrinkage. <laughs> pain clinic was waiting almost three months, again reporting 24 days or less. Um, orthopedics were wait time is somewhere in the three to six month range. They were reporting that their wait time was 27 days. And it so was... just lying. It's all it is. <laughs> just, just, just budging a few zeros. Yeah. But well, and in the case of okay. somebody, I mean, you know, when you're talking about those um, replacements. Back of funding? Yeah, right. And so that if it were to come out that you have to wait 300 days, mm -hmm. well, why can't we take part of the $16 billion that we're supposed to have to help you go back out to the community? Well, then we have to report that each facility oh. is putting so many oh. out. Each facility is so far so behind. So the math doesn't come out, does it? Well, and the national <laughs> benchmark is 30 days or less you wait for a surgery. And so if we just hide a few zeros. Uh, oops. Now, 300 to 30. Now your wait time <laughs> is less than 30 days. Bingo, no money to you. No money used. You can't use any money because you haven't waited excess of 30 days. And what it really comes down to is the VA's use of patient desired date, your PDD. And for instance, if I want an appointment, and I really want it today, but I say, I'll take whatever's next. They go, well, it's in three weeks. I'll take that appointment. My desired date was in three weeks. My wait time was zero days. Oh, no. So why are they doing this? Obviously, they can get away with it. And they've been getting away with it. Sure. That's why. So, well, I mean, is, is it because there's a couple people up top who are going to lose their jobs? Is really what it comes down to, right? It comes down to funding. Yeah. Fun, funding We're and jobs. Too. Are you doing a positive? Are you improving the facility so you can move to a larger facility or a higher job? Mm -hmm. Or are you failing at your task? Is this money is the, that's sitting there, is it accruing interest as it's sitting no. there? I'm wondering if that's no. their motivation. And no. 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 It's, it's only supposed to last three years. Max. Yeah. So it's gross incompetence is what it is. It was set there as a quick band-aid fix, put all these veterans out into the private community, fix it, do what you need to to fix your independent <laughs> hospitals so that after three years, no veteran waits more than 30 days for a surgery. Okay, and they're still not doing it. They, they came up with $16 billion in order to do this, but they're still not doing it. Still not, $16 billion is not enough. I don't know what, what, what to say. I, I think I it's saw a good this start. at the fair one time. This guy had these three things. And he yeah, got, pretty much. Okay, that's yeah, what that is. Okay, yeah, it, yeah, that's yeah. exactly what that is. Well, um, I know I've been working with Nathan on this since sometime last year. It's almost been uh, it We has started been in a year. November yeah. of yeah, yeah, 2014. Oh, And that's yeah. when I started leaking out a little bit. Yep, yep. And we had to be careful because the wife was under probation. Mm -hmm. I was under probation. Mm -hmm. Even though I was terminated, the wife was still not a permanent employee mm -hmm. yet. But now that everything's smoothed over, now we can push everything. Oh, my copies what? of the documents that I have are in a gun safe, so I won't be showing you any of mine. Okay, we'll be right back, and I think we're going to go to the board over here, okay? Real People, Real Life. We'll be right back. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you, Bill, that we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. 
Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your home's in your head. We love you. You build it. You build it. There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. And only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway. Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please, don't hurry. Because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Two plus two equals zero. Two years job time and two years residence equals zip, zero, not a nothing down. And credit, no credit, no problem at Credit King. Two plus two equals zero. Credit King, 31st Street South and Broadway. Habla Espanol. Does not include sales tax. See us for more details with approved application. Real life, Wichita, Kansas. America. Yeah. America. And we're going to go over here to the board behind me. Okay, Nathan, tell us, walk us through this situation that we have going on. Um, definitely, for sure, we know, um, here at our local veterans hospital. Walk so, the, sure, sure. The easiest thing that we have here is when you have your appointment with your provider, your doctor, your physical or a physician assistant, whoever says, this is our appointment and we agree to a surgery we need surgery next thing you're going to do is they are going to pass off a note in your medical records to a surgery scheduler this surgery scheduler may or may not be the same provider it may be an actual nurse or case worker or somebody however they're going to be the ones that actually contact the veteran the patient and ask when do you want this? What date is appropriate for you? And we're going to agree to a date. We'll just call that out November, or I guess November is pretty close right now, January, February of, of next year. And they are going to use a Microsoft Outlook calendar, just like you use for work, some of you use for um, your personal email, Microsoft Outlook calendar. And we've got stacks and stacks and stacks of these calendar. Now, we're still legal. We're still good. <laughs> as long as the actual yes. surgery, that's a bad G, office puts you into Vista surgery. Remember that? We talked about Vista package last year. <laughs> so, once you go into Vista surgery package, this is where you have an appointment. This is tracked by everyone in the VA. National can go into a database and they can pull out your numbers. And you do not have an appointment until you hit Vista. This is the key. Because from Vista, your next step should be surgery. Of course, we have pre-op, we have appointments along the way, but I'm just gonna try to simplify this. So this is perfectly fine. Provider says you're gonna have a surgery. Whoever's scheduling the surgery calls you in a relative amount of time that week, and immediately, surgery office sees that on the calendar, Dr. X wants the OR from this time to this time. They book, they book everything into Vista surgery package, and then we have our wait time for surgery. This is how the legal process works. The problem that we're having is that this is working fine, but you're not put into VISTA until you are clear for surgery. And this one has been mentioned multiple times in 
uh, different meetings, different committee groups, improvement projects that the chief of surgery, the nurse manager in the OR, even the um, chief of staff office, that we do not put anybody into VISTA until they're cleared for surgery. Well, most veterans are of mature age and require cardiac testing and labs before you can be cleared for surgery. You can't have this stress test and labs until you're out 30 days from surgery date. And so even though you right here agreed to a date, knowing that it was three, four, six months out, they will not put you into VISTA until you were cleared for surgery, which means that your wait time was less than 30 days. The problem with this though, is that some of these people weren't put in until we had the instruments, the prosthetics, the actual um, devices, if we needed special devices. And so some people were not put into VISTA until the morning of surgery or the week of surgery. And so even though they've been waiting six months for this surgery, their official wait time, zero, three days, seven days. And this is where the break is. Person is actually waiting 147 days Vista says three. Wow. Wow. Simple enough? Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. Very simple. Can you, can you come back and sit down? Yeah. And, and so. Let's kind of give me um, a minute here. We talked about Vista before. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do you want and to explain it again? Yeah, I do. Because part of the problem that I had with Vista was the, the way that they did the callbacks to, the, uh, to cell phone numbers and or... Uh, can, did they get any of that cleaned up? It was okay, so Vista is a problem. Mm -hmm. Vista is is a cover, a shell. Right. The whole thing is MS DOS, 1990s okay. C colon backslash backslash oh, oh Duke God. Nukem backslash stage one. Yeah. Duke Nukem. <laughs> so that's yeah. what the entire VA system is ran off of is DOS, and it's still. Oh my does. gosh! Are you kidding me? And so it's ran off something called FileMan. And FileMan, for any programmer, was 1980s and 90s programming. How can they still get their systems to work with the systems now? Well, they don't. They pro they're probably completely 100% vulnerable, too, to mention. They patch and patch a patch and patch a patch a patch mm -hmm. to, make, to be able to accept records from outside. Right. That's right. Or we scan everything as a PDF and attach it to the medical record if anything is from outside. And so Vista is a shell over FileMan, and FileMan has a bunch of different ones in there. And so when we're going through this, we have to understand that to find your surgery that you're having, we Vista has to actually tap into eight different FileMan servers to pull different information for different groups. And this is what makes it very cluttered and a mess as an analyst or anyone digging into the system. Yeah. By design or just by circumstance? I mean, By the VA is so large that it would take a tremendous amount of money and time to transfer all documents from MS-DOS Well, you have into. 16 billion sitting And around. once you do well, it, that's it. Well, let me a, ask you, you this, to... just for point of reference, the government, it would cost, because they run the VA, be very expensive, and they just ask what to push it back on. Say you're a for-profit hospital, would you get the same leeway? Or would you be forced to comply? You would force to comply because we are profit driven. One of the issues I had with this project was I kept on trying to push a business model for profit. I understand that we will never make a profit, but right. how do we reduce overhead? How do we cut yeah. money? Mm -hmm. And I had it was constantly reminded at all levels, all the way to the top this is a government. This is a government facility. This is a government agency. We don't worry about profit, we, we just worry about, about staying within the budget. Oh, okay. Why is this where the government's cutting corners at? With all the money we spend on all the most Boom. ludicrous things. We just we're dropped gonna, that much money over in Syria to our buddies over there that can kill more Christians. We spend $17 for a bottle of water for the troops. And I'm not saying that the bad idea to give them bottles of water, but I'm just saying we spend a lot more on a lot less. Why can't we have the most up-to-date system? That's... I don't know this. Or my, I was just digging at. <laughs> He's what asked was that wrong. question himself. You know, we have a lot of really smart people here. You can take, you can make an algorithm for a computer that can take those old MS DOS records and just transfer them directly into, say, even Windows Vista, which exactly. was also crap by itself, <laughs> though, right? 
It'll do that by itself. Yes. Yeah. That's what you I thought. You don't have to have a bunch of people doing this. Right. They're full of it's quack. All in, it's all an quack. excuse. It's just an excuse. Because people well, are yeah. freaking lazy. I can think of four billionaires right now that you could sit in a room and say, fix this problem, tax exempt status for the next year, and it'd be done. Yeah. Mark but we can't do it. It'll take too long. Mark Zuckerberg. Really? I mean, um, Steve yeah. Wozniak. Mm-hmm. Those guys have kind of an idea of how to do this stuff. Yeah, I know, right? Kind of. This is not that big of a problem. That's ridiculous. That just shows you the but ineptitude. It is a, it's a huge it problem, but it's it's a massive it's problem, but it shouldn't be a huge right. problem. It, it, what we're getting at is the part that's illegal or the part that's gray the part that's fraud yeah. is that they are intentionally hiding months' worth of data. Right. And they're hiding it in a Microsoft Outlook calendar, no different than what you'd use at work or for your own checking kids' soccer games. That must leave a heck of a pain. Yeah, back in the mid '90s. <laughs> so why wouldn't people, officials that are actually looking at that, now no longer look for when it goes to Vista, but look when it goes to the schedule? Because National can't see that. When it's on Microsoft Outlook, it's on our internal oh. computers. It's email to email. They it's don't not on just the on. national server. Mm-hmm. They and should so, be. I think that there's not just transparency needed. The accountability is needed. I think they need to send that information. If this worked ideally, National would see it within 48 hours. If I hit the Microsoft Outlook calendar, is just a way of passing a paper to somebody, passing right. an email. If that person were then to sit down and punch it into Vista, exactly. we're going to call immediately within a day or two. Mm-hmm. Then National would see that this person hit Vista. They're on an electronic wait list, which is tracked by National for 270 days. For real time. Mm-hmm. And then they waited 30 days for their surgery date. And the only thing they're doing is they're just cutting out that wait time. So that's why it's so confusing when reporters you know they don't want to take enough time to go through all this i think that's part of it well and the va wants to charge four thousand dollars for that freedom of information act yeah that clearly yeah. clearly defines and shows the problem because if we were to simply ask for when does cprs their charts say that they agreed to surgery which will show when the surgery scheduler agreed to the surgery correct when does vista say that they're scheduled for the surgery and when did the surgery happen? Three simple things we have to ask right. for. Mm-hmm. And here at the Wichita VA, I've asked, asked that for a quarter, and they are coming back with in the thousands of dollars for their time, copy paper, et cetera, oh. to research something that is really control P hit print. Huh. Um, so you what a bunch of horse hockey. Thank you. Uh, yeah. oh so when God. we first started talking about this over a year ago, you know, we, we you know, t- tried to take even at the time such a little bit of what we did have and, and try to get some help. But since then, you have been able to take it even higher. Um, since so, I don't have to worry about losing my job. Right. You already did. <laughs> that, that ship yeah. has sailed. That, 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 you know, that, uh, yeah, we, yeah, that happened. Um, but... Do you feel that it's, this is something that we can um, get some sort of national attention on this in a short amount of time? Because I, I immediately, after I got some of those last emails, I was sending those off and making calls to folks that may not currently be in Washington, D.C., um, but either have been there or will be going back there if they win their next election. So what do you think? I think the issue right now is it just needs to come to light. I it's agree. been held under these sheets for so long okay. that... This is our first step to go mass public, and mm-hmm. once the constituents, once the voters know what's going on, mm-hmm. then there's issue for those who were voted in. Gotcha. To make change. Mm-hmm. Gotcha. Wow. Okay. Real people, real life. We're going to be right back with our spotlight on local business. I'm going to love this. Thanks for coming back. Thanks. Again. Thank Good you, job. Nathan. Real people, real life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy, with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you, Bill, that we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your homes in your head. Love you, you build it. You build it. 
There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit, no credit, no problem, and only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway, Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please, don't hurry, because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Two plus two equals zero. Two years job time and two years residence equals zip, zero, not a nothing down. And credit, no credit, no problem at Credit King. Two plus two equals zero. Credit King, 31st Street South and Broadway. Habla Espanol. Does not include sales tax. See us for more details with approved application. And welcome back to Real People, Real Life with our Spotlight Business. And we have to envy me here with Deshaun. Um, who did you bring with you today? And tell us a little bit about what you do. Most definitely. I'm with to envy me. To be you is to envy me. And right here, I have Sharon and I have Precious. And if you look to the left of me, I have Miss Valanda, the owner of to envy me. And right here behind us, we have Jonay. She's the um, owner of Royalty Cuts. Um, she's doing uh, Mrs. Lace. Hello, Robin. <laughs> Miss Lace is here. Um, so what we're doing, we're going to talk to you about um, what we specialize in and the name of our, or excuome me, the address. It's 6160 East 21st Street, Suite 220, and the number is 682-ENVY-ME, E-N-V-Y. And you can also find us on social media, uh, Instagram and Facebook, www.2envyme.com. Right here we have Sharon, our first model, who's going to talk about the hair. Yes, hello everybody. So I'm wearing the Brazilian Body Wave. Um, these extensions, there's two bundles that I have for thickness, I like volume, you know. And um, <laughs> like volume. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, You're talking um, hair volume? Right, <laughs> right. Yeah, I love your though. hair, I didn't know it was Thank extensions. You. It looks yes. very natural. Yes, thank you. And that's what these extensions are. They're very natural, um, they will, pretty much blend with your, your hair. And um, with proper maintenance and care, they will last over two, a year or two years. So is that what's being done back here? Is that what she's yes. going through again? And so yours are clip-in? No, mine's, is, mine's are, are uh, they're not clip-ins. Um, it's called like a, a sew-in. We braid our hair and then sew the extension With a thing. needle and thread. Needle and thread. I used to do that a long time ago, yeah. but yeah, I can't do that no more. And so no, you can that. reuse your extensions? You can. With the proper maintenance, you want to treat it as if it's your hair. It is real hair. So, um, But yes, you'll wash it, maintain it, condition it. You know, take it out. Of course, take care of your hair underneath. But um, but with mine, what I do is just for fun sometimes, or an everyday wear. I'll just wear this, um, my extensions. Now, how long does something like this take to do? Well, to no, not in. to style because oh, it'd okay. just be like styling right. your hair because it'll be your hair, exactly. right? Exactly. But to actually have this procedure done, to have these extensions put in. With the procedures, um, it takes about normally 30 to 45 minutes to braid the hair and takes another 30, 35, 40 minutes to That's actually it? sew in the hair. It doesn't take long at no. all. Um, mostly probably about an hour and a half, maybe two hours to sew it in. Well, what are we doing with Robert right now? We're doing clip-ins. We're doing clip-ins with okay. Miss Robin right now. Um, so that only takes at least about 15 minutes just to clip in you um, part, clip, part, clip, and style. Very simple, very fast. And do you do these for people as well? Most definitely. Yes. Most definitely. 
So if they come into the salon and now if they wanted to book an appointment, how would they go about that? Now, this isn't a hair salon. Um, we only sell the hair. You can come to um, me for that. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> and where would that be that we would go to for you? 3912 East 13th Street. It's right across the street from the McDonald's Golf Course. Oh, I know what that is. And what's that called? Royalty Cuts Barbershop and... Excellent. Excellent. Well, a little more to talk about the hair. Um, It's unprocessed. It's by one donor. It comes in one color, which is 1B. And, I mean, it doesn't tangle. It doesn't shed. So you know how a lot of these, uh, the weave that we buy from local beauty stores and things like that, it typically sheds a lot and (laughs) it tangles. Um, That's why it tangles is because as it's shedding, it'll... Yeah, that most definitely, most definitely. And and, and it's blended by different donors. And one thing that I really like about uh, To Envy Me is you can go almost a month and a half with your hair and um, and it, it doesn't shed or anything like that. I mean, you can go and go wild if you want to, <laughs> and you can go and put that um, the, the hair stuff on it and different mousses or it's anything like mousses, that or yes. different spray or different oils and flat on it and it's like back to new. Why do these not shed and other ones do? Because it's real natural Brazilian version hair. It, it's the real deal. Um, and also with the um, the way the hair is sewn, uh, in. sewn in, yes, it'll it secures it secure Most and definitely. it's on a weft that's really tight and Most definitely. It, it will not shed. So a lot of these hair pieces <laughs> that we're getting in yes. these local salons, that's yak hair is that right? Yaky, I mean they got Black these hair. Black, black, black hair. hair. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, and and the, the, another thing, real quick, with this hair, um, anyone, any ethnicity, anybody can wear this hair. It can be uh, dyed up to the platinum blonde of blondes. I mean, it's it's for everybody. So, can you track the donor? I'll come with like a go on the computer and track the donor. I'm having your hair. Be like, I love it. Thank you. Okay. I can't thank you enough. And right? in your hair, I see. Are, are, do you have extensions in? I do. Do you, are they clipped in? She's actually ha- she has a sew in. So that is a sew in with a uh, thread, and it's actually silky straight. And you know, not to kind of put her out there a little bit, but she's actually been having her air, hair in for about at least two months now, and Seriously? it looks oh, phenomenal, really? most definitely. Yeah. I thought she I had it redone. I would never have guessed. <laughs> but yes, give them a flip. Give them a flip. Money. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> most definitely. That's two only months last old. Two years. Two months. Two months. I mean, two, two months. months. Most definitely. Most yeah, but yes. man, I'll tell you what. what. And that was that was Sonia. Yes. Okay. Yes. okay. So th- just so I can make sure, because way back, like, I don't know, 20 years ago, <laughs> um, I would go and get these, my hair would be, like, braided in these little mm-hmm, tiny mm-hmm, braids, mm-hmm, right? and in. then they would sew it in, yes. mm-hmm. okay, oh, my head would hurt. <laughs> yeah. Now, I would lay down at night, and my head would just go, thump, thump, thump. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Now, and then, I, I'd go to take it out, you know, and I'm like... Excuse me, what happened to my hair? Right, exactly. My hair, my little baby fine hair was gone. And then I'd have a rope. Are gone. <laughs> Most yeah. definitely. With the clip-ins, you just clip I don't have go. to worry about this with the clip-ins. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah, so and it matches your natural hair really well. Yeah. Look at that. That is beautiful. This is so cool. And, and you know, I Fossa came over to my house for like, um, to... I said, I just want to go back to my natural color. That's all I want to do. I'm yeah. tired of getting these foils in and all this crazy stuff. <laughs> Every time I went somewhere, they would either put a two, two blonde, two, you know, brown. It just or, didn't or they went too dark. Yeah. It either was one, one, one or the other. So... This time, it's actually my it my, blends so my well. hair. Yeah, it my really does. Hair exactly. color. Yes. And all I did was take a picture and send it to Volanda, okay, <laughs> and of course her wonderful husband, and um, with my granddaughter climbing on me, and you know, on the weekend, I'm like, here you go. <laughs> right. You know? I want this. Literally, I just gave you a picture of my hair on my cell phone. And, Is that and how they match the color? Yeah. Really? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So do you have these different colors of this hair in salon? Or do you have to no, order it? It's 1B. Um, it is only one. Oh, so, so they however, have to match it. You okay. can you get can it dyed it. whatever yes. color you want. And it will. Well, you would want to anyway so that it was yes. the same as what Definitely. you're doing here on Definitely. hair. Definitely. How many, I'm just curious, how many clips, how many rows did you just put in? Three? Um, I think I put in about five. Holy moly. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful. That's a lot of hair. Okay, so I see you're going with the, the straighter, but just a couple, okay, I'm more of a Jersey girl. Poof. Love it. <laughs> can, can you get these clip-ins to poof and all that? Are they the same thing? Is that made from the same kind of hair? Miss Volanda. We sell silky straight, body wave. Deep wave, kinky curly, kinky straight, 
Um, Ooh, pretty much. Can it's you different. It's what would different. you call my hair? That kinky. would be like a, a kinky, curly. like a kinky curly. Kinky. Mm-hmm. Beautiful kinky curly. Thank you. <laughs> she loves being kinky. Uh, so what is that makes me really happy. Right? <laughs> no, you basically have the straight, um, silky straight, and what she did was added some um, curls, curls to it. Okay. okay. Most definitely. Um, okay. You can take that and wand it if you want. You can take yes. some cramps and cramp if you mm-hmm. want. Um, style it to the way you want the style. Just so. flip it. Well, I haven't got to see anything yet. I just oh know. Oh, my gosh. Like, oh, wait till she see it. It feels good. I know that. Oh, my God. It feels awesome. I know that. Oh, my gosh. So, can you guys give us a rundown of, like, cost for all of this? Miss Belanda. Yes. Oh, I think it's different for everybody. Isn't yeah, it's precious. <laughs> uh, well, the prices vary between the curly, of course, will be a little higher than the straight. Um, the kinky curly and kinky straight is a little bit pricey because it's the natural look. Um, as far as price range, just come see us at 2 Envy Me yeah. at the store, and we can pick you up. We have the 20% going for the breast cancer awareness. This month? Yes. Awesome. Really good, 40% discount. Yes. That's awesome. That's great. So, like, okay, let me ask you, so that our viewers can kind of get an idea. How much did it cost for yours to be done? Oh, for, never mind, you well, do it yourself, huh? No. Well, <laughs> okay. No, but I can give you, I have the three bundles, 14, 16, 18, and that price is 195 I believe-ish. 195-ish somewhere. And then 20% off. And then 20% off of that. So. Okay, sweetie, if yes. they come to you at the salon, because we're gonna, we know that we're gonna go to Envy Me to buy the hair. Most because definitely. That's the best place to buy the hair in town. Period, yes. hands down. Because <laughs> this is like, mm-hmm. Okay. okay. Um, <laughs> woo-hoo. Right. Hey. Hey. Very, very well. You, can't, you can't really I know, tell. I, know I can't see anything. Well, you cannot tell you that can't it's see not a yours. transition. Most definitely, okay, really? you cannot. I love it. Looks it. Really, love really, it. really good. Okay, so then once we get this fantastic hair, we need to go somewhere because she just now, in less than ten minutes, put all this hair in. Did you say we're going somewhere? <laughs> oh, you want to go now? I know, right? So uh, again, where's your shopping? It's on Thirteenth and Festa. It's going Royalty now. Cuts Barbershop in Beauty Salon. Right on. And, and mind you, she's the owner. Oh, right on. She's the owner. <laughs> <laughs> that makes me feel better. <laughs> All right. So, God. can you, okay, I noticed you didn't do anything with her bangs. Can you make bang clip-ins? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, Most definitely. Bang Most definitely. <laughs> if, if you wanted to go in and, you know, razor cut some, you know, sideburns well, down. Well, let's say I don't in, want to cut nothing, but every now and then I want some bangs. <laughs> Get, the Get bang you some bangs, honey. honey. Okay. <laughs> but I don't want to okay. cut nothing. Right. I'm going to be able to clip in, take them out, change my mind. <laughs> You know, yes. you can you guys do that. Do that? We, we, there, well, the store doesn't have no. clip-in bangs now. If you want you to, to, buy you the get, hair and make it, and then make your own bangs in. But that's nothing because if you want to take those clip-ins down and put a different piece in, do that. But you always have your clip-in bangs right there. And we do so the most difference. definitely. You can make yeah. them different colors because you know all these yes. unnatural yeah. colors are so popular right, right. now. Blues, purples, my pink's right. almost gone. It's cute. It's cute. Oh, but, oh, the oh, pink. Right. Yeah, I had pink tips, and you know. But can you do that to the hair too? Can most you make it definitely. unnatural? Colors. Most definitely. That way, if you want to be cool on the weekend and you don't get fired Monday morning because you can't, <laughs> most definitely. Works out. All right, you guys, I know we got to go, and I really can't wait to go see my hair. Okay, thank you once again. It's beautiful. To envy me, and of course, our lovely stylist. Oh, love you, honey. Yes, I love okay. it. Love it, love it. Real people, real life. See you next time. Thank you. Real People, Real Life is brought to you by these fine sponsors. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you build it, we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your home's in your head. Love you. You build it. You build it. There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit? No credit? No problem. And only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway. Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please. Don't hurry. Because at Economy Motors, we got you.
got your back. Roll camera and sound. Speed. Speeding. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Two plus two equals zero. Two years job time and two years residence equals zip, zero, not a nothing down. And credit, no credit, no problem at Credit King. Two plus two equals zero. Credit King, 31st Street South and Broadway. Habla Espanol. Does not include sales tax. See us for more details with approved application. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you, Bill, that we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your home's in your head. We love you, you build it. You build it. There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. And only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway. Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please, don't hurry. Because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Hammond Liquor, home of the coldest beer in town and the lowest prices store-wide. For all your special events, your friends at Hammond Liquor have what you need from beer, wines, spirits, champagne, and more. Open till 8 p.m. every Sunday, Hammond Liquor, West Kellogg and Tyler Road. Alboro Cafe, like a vacation to Italy with Wichita's best Italian dining. Open Monday to Saturday. Happy hour Monday to Thursday, 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Enjoy our featured cocktails, lovely wines, and famous martinis. Alboro Cafe. My name is William Stockwell. This was my two and a half car garage. We'd had it turned into a room for my dad to get him out of the nursing home. If it wasn't for you, Bill, we wouldn't have this amazing transformation. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. Your home's in your head. We love you, you build it. You build it. There's no need to fill on edge when buying your next car. At Economy Motors, our cars are priced $12,995 or under, and we strive to make your purchase with us comfortable, fun, and simple. We've helped thousands get off their feet and into a quality used vehicle. Bad credit, no credit, no problem, and only $100 will put the vehicle of your choice in layaway. Come in and see us today. Economy Motors, 2305 South Broadway. Economy Motors, Wichita.net. Don't worry, please, don't hurry, because at Economy Motors, we got your back. Two plus two equals zero. Two years job time and two years residence equals zip, zero, not a nothing down. And credit, no credit, no problem at Credit King. Two plus two equals zero. Credit King, 31st Street South and Broadway. Habla Espanol. Does not include sales tax. See us for more details with approved application. 